This is one of the great residences on the campus of the greatest urban university in the world, probably, the University of Toronto. And you sort of think in emergency management, this would be a great refuge. Wrong. Yes, there are residences. Yes, there are pools and showers and gyms and places for people to camp out. But we have a case study that shows how inadequate even very large universities could be. This one's got about 50,000 students. Down there, Ryerson, now the Metropolitan Toronto University, about the same, and way up about an hour north of here, York University, 50,000 people, 500-acre campus. The Sunrise propane explosion caused 12,000 people to go hide out at the university. Seems logical. However, I've been told by university authorities that had classes been in session, there is no way they could have accommodated that number of people. Think about it. Nobody arrives on campus needing three meals a day, maybe one or two. Nobody arrives with children, barefoot. Uh, nobody arrives needing toothbrushes, soap. Yeah, they have some toothbrushes and soap, but not 12,000. And they don't have room for 12,000 people to have a shower uh, all at the same time. So universities sound like a good idea, but urban emergency planners, we need better ideas than saying, oh, go off to the university in the case of emergency. Read about this in the book, Emergency.